And Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich tracking the latest on this storm tonight. Hey, Brad. Yeah, finally, we can kind of put Michael out to sea here. We're going to see the storm move off the coast here in the next couple of hours. It's really moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Those winds at the center, really not 50. Those winds have been stronger to the north and west. That's what really moved through North Carolina as the cold front kind of merged. What's interesting about Michael is the long range track. This is the track out in the Atlantic. Look where it's going all the way across possibly to Europe by Sunday. Talk about a crazy track as that storms all the way out there. Now wind speeds. These were the maximum wind gusts we saw today at the official reporting stations. We saw a couple locations close to 50 48 miles an hour. This all came in with a big burst here around 1 to 3 o'clock this afternoon. Those winds moved up causing widespread power outages all the way up into the triad tonight. Those winds are much calmer where you see no numbers. That means winds are less than 10 miles an hour, so a much calmer night and it is dramatically cooler. 65, a new low temperature for the day, already in the low 50s up in the North Carolina mountains. By the time you wake up tomorrow morning, we are going to see chilly conditions. Well, I wouldn't say chilly, but for this time of year, this is about where we should be. Low to mid 50s, only climbing up to 60 by 10 a.m. Coming up, if you like autumn weather, you're going to love my seven day forecast. All right, thanks, Brad.